special. I mean, I'm like, you're special, but, you know, watching Boots then and, and, and now, you know, again, like a lot of people, you know, when, they, when, when you know, you get interviewed and people ask us about Boots, you know, it's a lot of people that say we bias, of course, but that's only because they don't see what we see. They're not in the gym to see what we see. They're just like, if you ask people about Crawford, they'll tell you how good Crawford is. So I guess you can say they bias as well. But we're not in the gym to see what they see, what's going on with Crawford. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? So it's, it's different. Again, it's all a matter of opinion. I mean, but we see Boots all the time. We know what he bring it to the table. We know what he can do. You know what I'm saying? So it's not about us being biased because, you know, it, it's just, that dude is different, man. Now, Key, was that the year that he faced Gary Antoine? Was that their first fight? That was their very first fight. He fought him. Um, yeah, that was 2014. That was the first time he fought uh, Gary Antoine Russell. Wait, so he fought Gary Antoine Russell with a handful of fights? With a handful of fights. No more than 10 fights at that time because I think he had just right before that in the semifinals, he stopped the kid from Hawaii. Um, and then went on to the finals. He fought uh, Gary Antoine Russell, and it's crazy because the fight it started off. I felt like they, I think they gave Boots like a BS eight count or something like that. And then you can see that kind of very much like now in the pros where he get caught with something or he get hit and then he turn up. You can see that that eight count lit a fire, and you can see over the course of the fight he started to really pick it up and, and turn things around. But it was probably a little bit too late at that point. Gary had already had the momentum. But you're talking about a kid that had been in the amateurs competing at a high level for a very long time. And then you get Jerron and it's come out of nowhere with a handful of fights and, co and completely put the whole tournament on notice. Crazy. Now, Reg, you saw that fight, right? Could could you see the maturation process? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Boots was always good. Boots was boxing pros at 13. Hmm. I mean, 14 years old. So, I mean, and, and like, you know, at that time, we're talking about high level pros. You know I mean, so we're not talking about mediocre pros that are just boxing at 13, 14, and giving them work. You know what I'm saying? So it's not, it never was easy. But, I mean, you know, through the process, you see it now. Like, so let's let's look at it now. What, what, what you think about him and him and Gary Russell now? That wouldn't be a fight. I don't think so. That wouldn't be a fight. I mean, to people who know Gary Russell, they might look at it and even them, they're gonna lie to themselves. But realistically, that wouldn't be a fight at all. That would be that would be too much damage. And plus, nobody's really asking for that fight, so. I mean, but I'm just saying. Like, yeah. I don't see Gary Antoine Russell going to 47 no time soon. Um, Antoine said that he can make 35. He comes in yeah, that's light. What I'm saying. So. I, don't, I don't see him. If we can make 35, yeah, then yeah, why? Yeah. I, I think we should go to 35. Yeah, yeah. He's trying to pursue big fights yeah, at 35. Yeah, I think for a lot of people, I think for a lot of us, and, and no offense to the casual boxing fan, but like to us, that have like that we really really are passionate about this and we watch the amateurs i think us knowing the history of those fights and seeing them and how they played out over time we would love to see how that fight plays out in the pros but i mean that fight that fight has never happened yeah. i mean if, if 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 gary russell go 35 I would, I would like to see that because eventually, me in my mind, Boots is gonna completely wipe out 47. There ain't gonna be nobody there at some point. And then 54, 54. yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Shit, me, you know, <laughs> the rest of his history. Like, it's it's hard for me to see a lot of people beating him. At the end of the day, I mean, you you got it. Everybody has a puncher's chance in this boxing, but you gotta go through some fire if you. If, if, if you want to have that puncher's chance and you got to be able to knock him out realistically with one shot, which... I think I think boxing I think boxing needs to change in some ways. Because there's no reason Boots should be sitting out this long in that fight. Boots is an exciting fighter. People want to see Boots fight. I think they should... I think he should fight more often. Him to sit out this long is ridiculous. You know what I mean? Him to sit out this long is, it don't make sense. 